Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to manage multiple views using the context. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to search active and archived records using the context, using the active underscore test feature, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist available with different topic wise with the real test cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow to get the latest update. So let's back to our main topic like how you can manage multiple views using the context. So let me give you one best example. If I will go to the salesperson. In the other tab, if I will try to open this user's profile, you can see this This is the user form view, right? After that, let me duplicate this tab. I will go to the settings. I will open here this user profile. You can see this is the res.users form view. This is also the res.users form view, but different one, right? And here, Let's see if you go to here in the preferences, this is also the form view of this res.user. So you can see three different form views for the different purposes, right? How is that possible? So yes, this is also possible using the context. Now let me show you here in this school profile. If I will open this school XML3, here you can see the student list. This is the one to many field, right? And here, if I will click to here, it's it's an editable tree view, so it won't be open the form view at the moment. Let's say for a second, let's say I will try to disable this tree view as an editable. save and refresh the screen and now let's say if I will click to here you can see only the form view open with the name but let's say if I will try to open the student profile and I will try to open the form view you can see the form view is very different right compared to this one so this is due to we already registered a new form view inside this field which where we define in the xml side so that is the first case now the second case is if you already have a multiple form views written in the xml side all right so let's say uh, not here in the student profile views let's say this one so this student list view demo right so this one let me open the tree view so this is the tree view of this student profile now here uh, sorry this is the school profile my bad you can see this is the list view of the student profile now let's say if you open this one you can see here id name and student fees this is the new tree view right if i will disable this screen So let's say I will try to disable all this stuff and I will close here at the moment and I will try to upgrade this module. And I will refresh the screen. Now you can see Odoo automatically tags the default view which we already created. So in, in this case, it's taking the first list view, this one, right? You can see here. And if I will open this form view, it will open the same form view which is available here, right? Now let's say we have a multiple views for the tree view and for the form view for the student profile. So let's see if I will copy this one and paste here. Uh, not not this one, sorry. Uh, 
school dot student profile so yeah this one like let's say I will copy this one and paste here and simple I will change this ID as a one and simple it will only visible ID created who created roll number and the student name in this view in this list view now let's say in the form view I will copy and I will paste here one one the header part completely removed because we don't need right this student the first page should be this the image that is fine let's say i don't want to add this total fees country and rest of the form views and i also don't want this chat functionality so you can see here we have two different form views right this one and this one let's i will change the priority same I will copy for this list view now I will try to upgrade this module Alright, so it's a priority, not the sequence. And once I will refresh the screen, you can see it still remain the same with this button, right? And if I will click to here and refresh the screen, right? This is the first tree view, not the what we created, right? Now, let's say if I will try to change this tree view with our new tree view which we created right plus I also want to open that new form view not the default form view like this all right so here context come to the picture and context having a one more functionality to change the views behavior so let's say how can we change the default form views or tree views using the context right so this is the simple way let's say if I will try to copy this new list view and I will find school dot profile here you can see this is the school underscore list but this is the one to many field of the students so don't confuse here this is my spelling mistake honestly and here like I will use here the context and here I will use let's say tree view ref and uh, here I will try to add this ID and this ID exists under the school dot school underscore student module so I will use like this for the form view it is the same like form view ref and here we have to paste here that form view ID so in this case this one so I will try to add here like this way now I will try to upgrade this module to school underscore student if you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm right I already explained in editor level playlist please check that playlist for more information now you can see before the refresh you can see this is the default list view right and once i will refresh the screen you can see the behavior change id created on 
created by and the name field now let's say we can verify this one so you can see total how many fields we used five fields right and you can see this is the optional field so here you can also add the roll number you can display right so total five fields automatically display so this is the list view and if i will click to here you can see there is no more multiple tabs available here like this this student technical info bank this chatter part and this header part is not visible in the new form view right so you can see this is the new form view which we already created right so only those informations you can see here which mention in the form view the new form view you can see here student info here is the student image and the rest of the fields right the same information it is visible here and one more thing is if you have a multi multiple search view or let's say you have a, like one more search view you didn't define in the action the windows action right here like search view id you can also pass in the context let's say search underscore view underscore ref like this search underscore view underscore ref and here your xml id but in in this one to many case right we don't need this one but let's say if you don't want to register in the windows action as a field level but let's say you want to pass in the context that is also possible so this is the main purpose of this tree view ref then after form view ref and search view ref in the context so context is not a simple one but it's a very powerful tool which having a multiple options to perform different operations so i hope you understood how to open a multiple views based on the requirement if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session